Hey there, today I'll be showing you how to draw Chibi Joker. So we start with the eyes, I'll start with the one on the left. We're going to draw the left eye a little bit lower than the one on the right, just to give it a little bit of expression. So starting on the outside, we're going to curve down in towards the center of the face. Starting on the outside, we'll curve down and curve up. From here we're going to draw the bottom part of the eye. So we're just going to step in a little bit on the left and draw a curve going down and up here. So coming down, almost like a half circle and coming up. I'm going to go ahead and color this whole area inside black. From here I'm just going to draw a little slight curve along the bottom of the eye just for the eye bag. So starting in the front, I'm just going to curve down and just pull it across. If you want you can go in and draw a few wrinkles. So just along the side here I'm just going to pull a few little curved short lines, just like this. Let's go over to the right side and draw the eye, upper eyelid on top. So we're going to start in the front here, we're going to draw that brow line first, curving down and in, and then from here we're going to curve up in the opposite direction, going up and then down towards the outside of the eye. And I kind of want to make sure I get the length of the eyes about the same. We're going to take these two points, so the end here and this point here, and draw a curve going to the bottom of the eye. So starting on the inside, we'll curve down towards the bottom, then curve up to the top. Let's go ahead and color this whole area in black. From here we're going to draw the same sort of thing, the bag under the eye, so starting in the front here, I'm going to curve down. And then for some little wrinkles, I'll just pull a couple lines across like this. Okay, from this point, I want to draw in the mouth. And the mouth is actually quite long and wide. It goes almost all the way up to the bottoms of the eye here. So starting down here, I'm going to draw the chin pretty shallow. So right here, so I'm going to draw the mouth in between here. Starting from the left, I'm going to curve down towards the right just to start this off. And then from this point, I'm just going to curve it up towards the bottom of the eye on the left. And on the right, we're going to do the same thing. So rounding out the bottom corner and pulling this up. From this point, I want to draw the actual lips. So from this point at the end here on the left, I'm going to taper out and just trace around the lip area along the top. So curving around, coming down across, and then just tapering it so that it comes to a point on the end on the right. From here, we're going to draw the bottom part now. So we're going to do the same thing. So starting at the tip, we're going to come down, we're just going to trace the bottom edge of the lip and just taper it off to a point there. Now we can go ahead and draw in the bottom part of the face. So on either side of the eye, I'm going to draw points. So right here and right over here. We're going to connect those two points with a curve. So basically a half circle that comes down to the chin right about here. Starting on the left side, I'm going to pull the pen down towards me and start to curve round at the bottom. And I'm make my way slowly back up towards the right side, towards the temple, right like that. And from here I'm going to draw in the ears. So from this point at the top, I'm just going to curve out and pull it back in towards the head. For some inner ear detail, I'm just going to start up here and curve down in towards the head. Let's do that exact same thing on the right side. Starting at the top, we're going to curve around and pull that into the head. And for that inner ear detail, starting from the head, curve out. Now from here, He's got sort of like a part that goes off to the left side here and the hair sort of combs over pretty high on the right side and flows down and on the left it sort of just tucks in behind the ear here. So what I want to do is I want to locate the top of the head. So if I imagine the top of the head right about here, I want to go over to the side and draw a point. From here I'm just going to curve down the inner edge of the left side. So starting in the top here, I'm going to curve down towards the eye and curve out and then just tuck it in by that ear line. From here, I'm going to draw the side of this hair. Starting up at the top again, I'm going to curve out. And the hair is quite messy, so I'm just going to draw a bunch of little hair strands and clumps. From this point, I'm going to curve back. And from here, I'm just going to curve down for another sort of strand, and then curve back. Now, I don't want to come back too far so that I break the line of the head. From this point, I'm going to curve down, and then flick the end out towards the left. 
From here, I'm going to curve back in, curve out with a shorter line, and then tuck this in behind the ear. From this point, I could probably draw some hair underneath the head, or behind the ear, underneath here. So down here, I'm just going to curve in, curve back up, maybe do one middle one here, and then tuck that in. From this point, I'm going to go back to the top, I'm going to curve down and draw the front edge of the right side of the hair. So from here, I'm going to curve down to the widow's peak, right here. So curving down like this. Now from this point, the hair flicks over and just sort of waves out towards the right side. So from this point, I'm going to curve up and then down. Curving up, down towards the eye, and then I'll just curve around that ear there. Now from this point, I could probably just close off that gap. From this point, I'm going to go back up to the top, I'm going to curve out and just draw the outside edge of the hair. So starting up here, I'm going to curve up and just kind of flare the hair out. Going up, then start to come down, and then just flick the hair out. From this point, I'll curve in, so it gets a little bit thicker as I come in. Now from here, I'm going to reverse the curve. Go the opposite direction, then I'll curve back. And from here, I'm just going to curve out, and I just want to make my way back to that point by coming in and then just pulling this out to a point. From this side, I probably want to draw some of the hair underneath here because it's sort of combed over the hairline. So from here, I'm just going to do a curve tucked in underneath that hair, and then draw one more like that. And if you want, along this edge, I could draw some hair strands. So starting up here, we just pull a line like that and just sort of taper it out. Go up here and just draw a shorter line. Maybe one a little bit closer. And I'll do one more up here as well. If you want, you can draw a couple more on this side as, if you'd like. So around here, I'll probably just pull one across that way. And down across here. And here. It just kind of makes it look like the hair sort of separated, just sort of combed over. From this point, I want to draw some wrinkles on the forehead. So what I want to do is I want to draw a little wave. So in the middle here, I'm going to draw a curve from left to right. So coming down in the middle. And then on the ends, I'm just going to reverse the curve, curving in the opposite direction. I'll do one more smaller one up at the top here. So I'm doing a curve. And I'm just going to curve the opposite direction there. And then on this side, I'll curve the other way as well. From this point, we got the face. Let's get into the body. So he's wearing this long trench coat. I'm going to start with the inner edge of the coat first. So drawing down towards the waist, which is right about here. I'll start on either side of center, starting on the left side. Curving in. We'll go to the right and do the same thing, so curving in towards each other. From this point, I'm going to draw down towards the legs. So the feet, I'll probably draw to here. So up here is where I'm going to draw the bottom of the coat. So from this side, I'm just going to curve out. Curving out, like that. So that's the inner edge of the coat. We'll go ahead and draw in some detail on the inside. Let's draw on the vest. So we're going to start with a V, coming down in the middle, back up to the right. From the middle here, I'm just going to come down to the waistline right about there. I'm going to draw the bottom edge of the vest with an upside down V, a small one, and then curve or straighten out along the bottom. So it's like a little V shape tucked underneath the coat. Let's draw a couple of buttons. If you'll draw one circle, and I'll draw one more underneath. And for the collar of his shirt, I'm just going to take this point here, angle that up. Take this point here on the right and angle that up. For the tie, we're going to draw the knot first. So right up here, an angle line coming in, same on the right, and we'll connect those two points with a straight line across. We'll take those two corners, and then we'll angle them out and tuck them in underneath the vest. From here, I'm going to draw on the collar of the coat. And the collar is quite big, so I'm going to, make, I'm going to flare these up quite big. From the points here, I'm going to come up in an angle right up to about where I think the shoulder would be. So curving out. I'm going to go to the right side and do the same thing. So right about here, I'm going to curve it in. From this point, I'm going to angle a line inwards, leaving a little gap. Go to the right side and do the same thing. I'm going back left and right just to make sure I'm balancing this out. From this point, I'm just going to go up in a steeper angle with a short line, and then just tuck this in underneath the chin. From here, let's go ahead and draw on the side of the coat. So from here, I'm going to draw a straight line going down and slightly out this way. From here I'm going to flare out the side of the coat and I want to make sure that this outside flare is a little bit higher than these points here. Starting on the left, I'm going to flare out like that. So you can see that that line 
is higher than that point there. I'll do the same thing on the right. I'm going to connect these two points now with a curve. Coming down. So, up here I'll probably just draw one more button, right up here like that. Let's go ahead and draw in some arms. So I'm going to start with the outside part of the arm first. So the shoulders, I'll start here. I'm going to bring the arm down to about here. So curving in like this. From here, I'm going to curve and round out the cuff of the coat. From this point, I'm just going to curve and tuck this in underneath the jacket. And up here, I'm just going to draw a cuff. So a little curve like that. Let's go to the right side and draw the same thing. So up here, I want to draw a curve. Coming down to the cuff, making sure they're roughly the same height. Curve and round out the cuff. And tuck this in underneath the coat. Go ahead and draw on that cuff separation right like that. We're going to go ahead and draw on the hands. So I'm going to put them in just regular fists. So from here, I'm just going to step in on the right side a little bit and just draw a curve for the thumb. At this end here, I'm just going to close it off with a bracket, move over to the right, and just circle around that bracket like that for the first finger. Come up here, do an overlap for the second. We'll move up and do an overlap for the third. And we're just going to make sure we just come a little bit inside of the edge there, just so it looks like the hand's underneath the cuff. Let's go to the right side and do the same thing. So stepping over, draw a curve for the thumb. We'll draw that little bracket at the end. Stepping over here, we'll curl around that bracket. Do an overlap for the second finger, overlapping for the third and tucking that in underneath the sleeve. Let's go ahead and draw in the final step, the legs. So just down here, again, the feet are going to be down here, so the lower torso, I'm just going to draw a straight line across like that. On the left side here, I'm going to step in, draw a curve down to the heel. On the right, we'll step in and draw a curve down towards the heel. Now we're going to draw the span for the bottom of the feet. So from heel to toe, right about here, I'm just going to draw a curve like this. On the toe, I'm going to curve around, and I'm going to aim for that heel. But I'm not going to go all the way through. I'm just going to draw a curve going up to the top of the foot, aiming towards that heel, and just stopping right about there. At the top of this curve, I'm just going to curve up underneath the coat. Down here, I'm going to leave a little gap here, so I'm going to step up a little bit, draw a curve for the bottom of the pant. Along the bottom here, I'm just going to draw the sole. So I'm just tracing the bottom edge of the sole with a curve. Up here, we'll just give him a toe cap, drawing a curve like this. Let's draw the same thing on the right side. So again, drawing the same span for the bottom of the foot, making sure that they're roughly the same length. I'm going to aim towards the heel here. So I'm going to start back here, draw a curve to the top of the foot, curving down, and draw the foot now, so or the leg. So starting at the top of the foot, curving and tucking in underneath the coat. Draw the bottom curve for the pant, and then the curve for the bottom of the sole. Give them a little toe cap, the curve like that, and if you want, you can draw the back end of this coat. So the coat wraps around the legs and comes to the back. So I'm just going to draw a curve in between the legs like that. One last thing I want to do is draw the hair on the back side here, just to balance it out with the right, with the left. So starting up here underneath the ear, we'll curve down, and we'll curve up towards the ear, making sure it tapers out, coming back down a little bit longer, tucking that in underneath the chin, and that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Chibi Joker. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.